the national security interests of America. Well, Iran has made little secret of its desire to gain hegemony in the region of the Persian Gulf, the critical oil and natural gas producing region that we fought so many wars to try and uh, protect our economy and uh, from the adverse impact of losing that supply or having it available only at very high prices. The critical oil and natural gas producing region that we fought so many wars to try and uh, protect our economy and uh, from the adverse impact of losing that supply or having it available only at very high prices. Iran continues to support terrorists in and around the region. They continue to pursue nuclear weapons. And if they gain the upper hand in Iraq, as they have the upper hand now in Syria and Lebanon, our friends, Israel, and our Arab friends in the region are going to be sorely pressed. So is it possible that eight years of American efforts, almost a trillion dollars in money, but most importantly, the cost of precious American lives could all be for naught? I think it's a, it's a very real risk, and I think the president just failed to understand the significance of what he's done, both in terms of the cost we've already borne and the risks and cost we may bear in the future. Ambassador John Bolton, many thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Persian Gulf, the critical oil and natural gas producing region that we fought so many wars to try and uh, protect our economy and uh, from the adverse impact of losing that supply or having it available only at very high prices. What about foreign policy advisors? Who, who has shaped your thinking about the U.S. and the world in foreign policy? I've looked at the writings of people like uh, Ambassador John Bolton.